All right, welcome back to this video series. We're setting up Centrify MFA on Amazon Workspaces. In the previous video, we uh, launched our workspace, we installed the Centrify agent, we verified settings, and we also authorized the machine at the um, Centrify tenant level to make sure that the machine can do MFA on behalf of a user. So everything should be set. In this video, we're just testing. So we're going to reconnect here. So one of the things that did not work the last time when I was doing the setup was that um, uh, it, the credential provider was not excluded and the reason it was very simple now that I think about it, Centrify software was not installed so it didn't know what to do with that GPO. So notice in here um, what we can do is uh, just basically uh, pick up our user in here, it's actually Diana, so I'm going to do this notice that it's going to try to log, log, in, uh, log into the authentication service. In this case, it's going to do. Um, I can pick a uh, email, SMS, or phone call. We already did phone call when we were testing. We're going to do SMS in this case. So I should get a, a, a text message here. I have several ways that I can satisfy this. I can uh, on my phone. I just got the text. I can click on the link, and I can approve it. And the REST API takes care of the rest, and and that's it. I could have alternative, alternatively copy the code and paste it there, kind of like old school was, you know. But now we can, uh, uh, we have verified that we have MFA at login. Uh, let's look at another behavior. Let's go ahead and send Control Alt Delete, and um, let's go ahead and uh, lock our station, right? So. I lock, uh, go away from my machine, and I lock my um, my workspace. If I send Control I delete again, let's take a look. And notice that is actually uh, requiring multi-factor authentication again, right? So, in this case, uh, and I can do an email, not a problem. I can just look at my email in another window, uh, and. Uh, this right here could be an annoyance, right? So what I what I want to just show here is also a a way where we can um, improve the user experience, right? Because uh, if I go to the restroom, lock my workstation, and I come back within a couple of minutes, now I have to do multi-factor again, right? And um, this might not necessarily be desirable. So one of the things that we can do is modify the behavior. So, for example, I can look at the GPO and I can say, uh, maybe I don't want, um, because I'm launching this machine in another machine which I'm locking, maybe I don't want multi-factor on unlock. So I can just enable this GPO, right? And let's see if um, I may have uh, another thing working with this. So let's just edit this out. And let's do policies, Centrify settings, Windows settings, MFA settings. And assuming that, uh, and it's enabled, assuming I'm talking to the right domain controller and there's no replication issues, I could just do a GP update. So let's do a CMD and GP update force. Right, and, and the intended result here is that we disable MFA on screen unlock. If you look at the options, there's other options like setting up a grace period for multi-factor authentication, right? So uh, what that means is you can give enough time for people to actually do things like lock in the screen and if you do it within the grace period you don't need um, uh, to be challenged with multi-factor. So uh, this seems to have completed successfully. So another test that we can do is send control alt delete, lock the screen, right? And then uh, send control alt delete again and let's see. Notice that in this case I was not challenged. So, so these are the use cases, right, for um, Amazon uh, Workspaces securing login and securing also um, screen unlock. Since you're not RDPing into Workspaces, uh, you don't really need. I mean, it's another use case for login. But another one that we can do is uh, where we can use Centrify zones using. Uh, for access control, but also uh, let's just say you're using Amazon Workspace as a privileged access workstation, right? So it's a secure machine that is used for uh, tools like ADOC and all that stuff. Maybe we want to protect it against past the hash. Uh, in that case, we want to do privilege elevation with token manipulation. 
but we also may perhaps want to add multi-factor to that as well. So I'm going to uh, create a, a, an appendix video where we can uh, do a centrify zone and that way we can do uh, previous elevation MFA as well. Uh, I'm hoping that this series was um, educational and again we do a lot of things that are labs production uh, requires other considerations so uh, we can go from there.